Welcome to the 2023 History San Diego Summer Show. I'm George Favar, and I'm pleased to bring you photographs and illustrations in a musical retrospective of the San Diego Naval Training Center that was in operation from 1923 until 1997. Right now, you're watching the early years of the Naval Training Station as it would be developed into the Training Center over the years, commonly known as Boot Camp. I see the 1960s coming up for us as we begin our retrospective of the San Diego Naval Training Center. Our focus will be in the mid-1960s because during that increasingly turbulent time in our country, my father volunteered to join the Navy, as his father, my grandfather George, did in the late 1930s. Before we begin the retrospective, I will read to you a brief summary of what was happening at that time from my father's copy of The Anchor, a training center memory book where a lot of the photos you will see ahead are from. In late 1965, the demand for trained Navy men to man the additional ships and overseas billets required to meet the Vietnam crisis brought the onboard population to a record of over 18,000 recruits, the highest since Korea. At the same time, a military construction program got underway with the foundation of a new 8,000-man mess hall being laid adjacent to Bainbridge Court. In addition, an ambitious five-year program was formalized for the construction of modern barracks, TV classrooms, and administration facilities. The facelifting of the Recruit Training Command is expected to be completed by the early 1970s. Please stay tuned after the musical retrospective for a tribute to my father's legacy. And so now I say, anchors away. I'd like to thank you for watching the musical retrospective, uh, a tribute to the San Diego Naval Training Center when it was in operation. Now what I'd like to do towards the end of our show today is to pay tribute to the legacy of my father who served in the United States Navy. He had followed in my grandfather's footsteps. His father, George, had served in the Navy on a submarine and a destroyer in the late 1930s, right before World War II. And also his sister Juanita and brother Robert also served in uh, the Navy. And so he graduated from Memphis State University with an associate's degree and he decided he wanted to, as his trade, uh, when he volunteered, to work in electrical engineering. So he went to the Naval Training Center in San Diego in the mid-1960s for boot camp. And he told me a couple quite colorful stories uh, about his time uh, in San Diego at, at boot camp. Uh, and <laughs> uh, he will eventually, once he graduates from the training center, he'll be stationed in Treasure Island. Uh, up in San Francisco and uh, he'll be stationed in Treasure Island in a unique time in American history 
uh, because he'll have an opportunity to see San Francisco uh, at the height of the Summer of Love uh, and the hippie movement. And he would drive his, he would ride his motorcycle over the Bay Bridge. So he would eventually uh, move from California to Florida, joining my family, who was resettling in Florida. He would uh, also be stationed in Florida, and he would finish off his naval service there. Uh, and uh, he would retire from the Navy. And he eventually settled in the Jacksonville, Florida area, and he worked briefly at two television stations, and then ultimately went to the third of the three big TV stations in Jacksonville at that time, uh, the one and only WJXT Channel 4, where he was a broadcast engineer for around 25 years. I'm proud of my father's service in the Navy. He accomplished a lot. He learned uh, a trade where ultimately he was able to uh, achieve a lot uh, in television engineering. Uh, dealing with maintenance of uh, video equipment uh, in a very thriving uh, television station environment. Uh, so I'm very pleased to have been able to have brought not only this tribute uh, to the Naval Training Center in San Diego, but also to pay tribute to his Naval service and also to reflect at this time on what brought me to California and his stories about his life in California and the way that I was ultimately raised made the San Diego, California area the perfect fit for me when the time came for me to come to California from Florida. And so uh, I want to thank all of you uh, for watching and I want to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel, History San Diego, if you've not already done so. We'll be starting season three shortly in September. And I look forward to bringing that to you, so please stay tuned. Also, you can join us at History California on Facebook groups for even more. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. Take it easy. See you later.